area where the Dutch and the British lived. Here in Secondi, referred to as Secondi European Town. This fish here indicates that this there's fishing industry around Secondi and Takradi. The fish run about. Yeah, first of all. Sound go around view. In this area, we also have military installations. We have the naval base. The, the, the naval base that is closer here. When we get closer, I'll let you know so that you don't take more security installations. We don't want to take them to be taking pictures. Okay. You see the relics of a building right ahead of us. That's a, that was the very first high court building in this country. Right, the one that is falling apart. The very high court building in this country. You see, that's the, the, you see the lighthouse? That's a Fort Orange. Fort Orange. Lighthouse. Yeah, that's Fort Orange. <laughs> Which is now, uh, it's, it's being inhabited by uh, staff of the Ghana, Ghana Force and Harbor Authority. So this was where the Europeans left during the colonial period, before before the recession hit the city of Secondi and Takradi. So the Europeans coming back now since there's a lot of money in this area? Oh yes, they're coming back, but they're not coming back. They're now they're coming back to Takradi. Down there is a Western Naval Command, so we advise no photography. And now you have the Fort Orange. You know what Oh, wow. That's Fort Orange. It looks like a small version of Elmina. Yeah. And this was also a very high business, I mean, street for business here in Sekundi. And houses are very rich, some rich Europeans that lived here. Yanko. belong to the people, the local people. You see, these ones here are led, but they were not equipped with anybody in particular. They just condemned? Yes, they, if they left without giving it to anybody in particular, so nobody can claim ownership to it. The only person that can claim ownership to it is the state of Ghana. Now, any European that is coming up this way just coming to as a tourist. Yes. So, if the state owns it, if you want to 
What? I am from the state. You said what? The state. You have to, you have to see the state. state. Yeah. No, just go. Yeah. You know, you see, it works in housing ministry. The land commission is not enforcing. The land commission is an office that regularizes the documentation. Okay, register. Yeah, they, they register and regularize documentation. The person you need to see is the lands, I mean, I mean, works and housing. They are in charge of all estate, government estate. And that is the railways that is coming up to your left. As in, uh, the, the, the river railway, and we are trying to build lines between Ghana and Burkina Faso in the western and in the on the, also in the eastern side. The western side will go beyond up to Mali, and the western side will go up to Africa. I mean, to will go to talk. I mean, I mean Burkina Faso. We put it on a bid. We open international bidding. Some projects are what? Multi country or Ghana is building. Uh, we are building up to a point. They also building down. We build up to our point. Yeah, then, then we do, well, to that point, then we connect. There are certain businesses, whether we like it or not. No Ghanaian can. The government government cannot uh, sponsor, fund. No any particular business that can fund. So those businesses we agree they still go to international competitive bidding. Just that we look at the value for money. What at the end of the contract are we ripped off or we are gain we have we, we are we are gaining. So we want to drive up to the fishing market area, the fish market area, and turn around, turn around and come back. It's a bilateral. It's a bilateral agreement between Ghana and Africa. I mean, and then, and then uh, Burkina Faso. Yeah. ECOWAS is the general of the system countries in the region. Why wouldn't ECOWAS be sponsoring something like that? If it's, I mean, that's a regional. No. What is their interest in it? Investment. Hmm. Yeah. If some and uh, if what. No, for the infrastructure, you build your side. Your, your, even the road that we pick from Cape Coast coming here, it's very nice. That is the longest street in West Africa. It starts from, it starts from uh, Lagos in the east and ends in Dakar in the west, going to 11 countries. But each country is developing its side of the road. Yeah. So, if ECOWAS, why would ECOWAS build? Uh, I mean, a Senegal, which is member of the ECOWAS, they also have stakes. Unless, of course, that particular thing is, is strategic. 
They leave it to the country to, to develop your destiny. It is you who want to develop a railway. Their priority is not railway. They also have other things to take care of. So ECOWAS, and ECOWAS doesn't have any money. But we have African Development Bank that can sponsor if they have the money. But you see, African Development Bank, all the other Africans are also competing for funding from that side. So they will look at, or you look at the rate that they are giving you, or they look at how cheap is it to get it from other sources. Yeah. We have, the, we have bauxite. That bauxite was most, a percentage of it was mortgaged to a president's brother. So when this administration came, they said no, it cannot be mortgaged to an individual. That individual, what is it bringing to a state? Look at the contract, which was not regularly, who was, who was not, who, which was not properly done. So we leverage on that and got a loan of, I mean, we leverage two billion dollars and the opposition went to IMF and said we are adding up to the debt and the IMF said no, per the agreement, per the arrangement, that is not debt. We leverage on bauxite a percentage of it for China, they get of that and then they give her this amount of money and we're going to use that money for this, 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 this. So we're going to be a lot of development, which are part of it we're using for the railway development. So and when the railway is finished, Ghana will own its part? Yeah, it's all Ghana. I know, but will Ghana own the railway, whatever? Yes, so yes, okay. because we have, uh, uh, at a when, you know, like uh, Mali, Burkina Faso, I think Niger, they are landlocked countries. They have no access to ocean. And all of these were getting their merchandise by ship through Ivory Coast. Now, around 2000 thereof, there was a standoff in Ivory Coast. Civil, civil, I mean, civil unrest in Ivory Coast. So they all came back to Ghana. They rerouted their cargo back to Ghana. So, and our roads were not built for that l load, but you have the frequency of it and the, the volume of the stress on our road was so great that we have had the roads deteriorated fast and also break down accident because upper countries are, it's, the land is flat. Here, is undulating, so engaging the gearing has caused some accidents. So with this one, if you have the rail, it doesn't take that much space and just move up, moves f faster. So we have to build this rail because in the western side, it's coming from Mali through Burkina Faso. In the eastern side, it's coming from Niger through Burkina Faso. Okay. I thought someone I thought the private company would own the railroad. No, 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 no. It's, it's, that is owned by the state of Ghana. Okay. But it will be some kind of agreement. Yeah. You build, sure. but we have money for that. Yeah. <clears throat> then that is built on a build, operate, and transfer. BOT. Mostly government does that. Build, operate, and transfer. In that pipeline, they have the 